As we celebrate this wonderful season of creation, the beauty of God's eternal word reflects us at so many levels. I am privileged to be sitting under a sacred African tree called the Mugumu tree. And creation for me, I've always been touched by beauty and by color. And I remember as a child, the excitement when I found primroses in a mossy bank. And then the yellow daffodils coming up in the spring after a winter where there was not much color of flower. And then I had the privilege of coming to Africa and was overpowered by the lushness and beauty of jacarandas, pulsethi in abundance, um, the hibiscus. I mean, colorful beauty all around, the beauty of nature in trees and in bushes and in birds. And I remember the thrill I got when I first learned to snorkel in the Indian Ocean in a coral reef pool. And I remember spending hours marveling at the beauty and magnificence of such a multitude of creation and a variety of fish, big and small, all swimming happily in the ocean pool with me, reflecting the glory of God and the wonder and the beauty. And of course, because I grew up in Ireland, hills and dales and woods and rivers were part of my, I suppose, background. And maybe I took them for granted, but I know I was always touched by natural beauty. And then I remember when I went, used to go to Donegal and saw the power of the Atlantic Ocean I used to pull away by myself on a rock and I really felt the immensity of God as I looked out to an ocean and then the waves coming in maybe 10, 15 feet high and somehow experiencing the glory of God and the pull of God and the word of God speaking to me through the power of nature, through the big things and the small things. And above all now, we're challenged, I think, not only to protect nature, but in this technological age, to help our young people to reflect on nature and open their eyes to the beauty around them so that they get more aware of a word that was spoken. Someone told me once, God spoke four words. His first word was creation. His second was the Bible. His third was the incarnate word. And now we all are the living word. Challenge to bring creation to the fullness of its potential in God. To protect it, to enjoy it, and to celebrate it.